Hey guys, what's up? Benny Brosef here with a startup guide for In this video, I'm going to talk about what you need to know when you first set foot on this broken world. First off, let me explain that there are three different tools that you'll want to get in order to survive. The tutorial will give you two of them to start. This is the laser pick and your weapon. The last one is called the laser saw. This can be crafted without any experience and it just costs 10 dirt, 10 mud, 10 clay, and 10 rock. These resources can be easily found in the top layer of the planet. If you aren't sure how to open up the crafting menu, just press V and then in the little blue box here, go ahead and type in laser saw. Once you have these three items, you're ready to explore. Go ahead and map them to any of the hotbar slots you want, and we'll get started. The next thing we want to do is gather some science. Science is the fourth bar on the top left of the screen. It acts as your experience bar or currency bar. Anytime a craftable item needs science points, it will display the amount here. Earning science is easy. Mining dirt and other low-level resources gives you 5 experience, but more rare resources can earn you more, depending on the substance. Killing enemies will also earn you science, depending on its difficulty. At this point, we want to go ahead and mine around until we have at least 1,000 science and 40 dirt, making sure to gather all the aluminum you come across, as well as ice since these will be important later on. If it gets dark, you can always craft some plasma torches from two of anything, including dirt. Then we're gonna go back to the surface and create four base construction data and four explorer armor data. You can do this quickly by opening the crafting menu, clicking the drop down menu, and then selecting data as the category. Completing these and consuming them by left clicking while they're selected on your hotbar will bring you to level 1 in both categories, allowing you to build chests and some new armor, the proto chest and proto legs. If you've been having any difficulties so far while spelunking, you can create the earthen armor set in the meantime since we'll be farming for the proto set in just a bit. But before that, let's build a base. You can make it out of dirt, clay, mud or rock structure blocks. None have any bonus attributes nor can they be destroyed by enemies. Create as many structure blocks as you need to complete a base outline and background. To place blocks or remove blocks from the background just press tab. This toggles focus between the background and the foreground. This is displayed by the pick turning from red for foreground to blue for background. Once you have a base built, you should make a basic workbench and place it somewhere within your base. This will allow you to then create small chests once you have the materials. All you should need, other than more dirt, is metal, which is where your laser saw will come in handy. Materials will display their type here. And trees drop proto roots, which are considered a metal. Chop down trees until you have enough proto roots to make a couple chests. So now, let's take a look at what the proto set will take as far as resources. This is what you'll need for the armor itself. You should already have most of what you need, however there are two things that you may not. The first one being biomass, which drops off of any enemy and can also be mined. The second thing is called proto vines. These can be acquired from the little hanging vines underneath the surface. While mining for these resources, be aware of your science meter. When it's nearing full capacity, be sure to spend these points into Explorer Armor data until it's level 2, and then into Base Construction data until it's level 2 as well. Once you've acquired your awesome new armor materials, return to the surface once more, and we can put it all together. Once you've put on your new armor, all that's left for us to get settled in is to put the finishing touches onto our base. With the level 2 upgrade to base construction, we're now able to create a command node. This will allow you to power up a couple of future buildings later on, but the main purpose for now is to teleport you between any nodes you place. The only requirement 
is that these nodes be placed a certain distance away from each other. This is a simulated estimate of their distance requirement. Once you have this set up, you're ready to go out on your own. Edge of Space is a huge world already and has plenty for you to go out and explore. Good luck! Hey guys, just wanted to say thanks for watching this video. I would like to say, however, that I'll be attempting to make like a more advanced tutorial later on since there's plenty more things I could talk about regarding some of the mechanics you need to know after getting set up, but this video is a pretty good taste of what to expect if you're a first time player. If you enjoyed it, please remember to give me a like and hit that subscribe button for new video updates. Or if you didn't like it, let me know what I can improve on in the comment section. If you'd like to see something less serious, go ahead and click on one of these links here. Otherwise, thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.